Today, I will change my existing WISE cameras into IP cameras without having to update the firmware that the cameras are running on. Instead of updating the firmware, we will be installing WiseBridge on our existing Docker server. We begin by going to Docker Hub and search for Wise. We want to use the Docker image by MRLT8. So far, uh, as far as I can see, this is easy to install and works readily out of the box without much fuss. Supported architectures include ARM processors like the Raspberry Pi as well as x86-64 processors. This image supports WISE cams from B1 HD only, so you should not have any issue whatever WISE camera you have. Click on the link to the GitHub page. Here you can find a brief description of the project plus a quick start guide on how to install Docker and run the bridge. Further below, you'll see the change logs as well as the Docker Compose YAML file. This file is what we'll use to install WiseBridge using stacks on Portainer. Click on the sample hyperlink. Copy the script. Log into Portainer and select the environment you will install WiseBridge on. Click on the stacks and add stacks. Enter a name for the container. I'll be using WiseBridge. Remember to not use any spaces between words on the container name, otherwise it won't work. Now paste the script under Web Editor. Enter the email and password to your WISE account. Going over the script, we see here the container name, restart options, image, and the different ports WISEBridge will be using. Hopefully, these ports are not being used on your server. Otherwise, you will need to fix this and change one of them. Now, we are ready to deploy the stack. Scroll down to the bottom. Click on Deploy the Stack and wait for it to install. Once we see the container has been deployed successfully, open a browser and enter the IP address of the server you installed WISE Bridge on, specifying the port number 5000. To enable audio, we need to update our stack. This of course can be done when we first deploy the stack. Go back to GitHub and under Advanced Options, click on Audio. And copy the script. Now go back to Portainer and open Stacks. Select Wise Bridge and click Editor. Under Environment, paste the environment variable script you copy. Click on Update the stack, then confirm by clicking Update. Once we get confirmation that the stack is deployed, we can go back to our browser to test. Using WiseBridge is better than updating the camera's firmware. Updating the firmware can take some time, especially if you have multiple cameras. IP cameras connect to a network through Wi-Fi or wired connection and provide footage over the internet. Connected to some sort of video recorder, it becomes an easy solution for video surveillance. Or you can just broadcast the video footage over the internet. But that will be a topic for another video down the road. Right now, I'm just going to change my cameras into IP cameras so that I can share the feed to the different devices that are on my home network.
Thank you for watching.